other active um, treatment spots what hey guys welcome back to my channel and if you're new then welcome to my channel in today's video i'm finally sharing my dermaco haul with you guys and you can't see it here you go um i ordered like a lot of skincare products from dermaco because a you guys had been asking for it and b i myself was very inquisitive to see how the products really are if they are actually uh, worth trying or how is it really like so i ordered like a lot of the products so let's see what all i've got now I of course have tried a few of the products from the entire thing that I have picked up but I definitely do not have reviews of any of these products. I just can tell you how the consistency is, how the formula feels like on the skin and all of those good things. So let's get started. is their SPF 60 PA++++ and this is their ultra matte sunscreen gel ultra light oil free water and sweat resistance broad spectrum UVA and UVB now I definitely have dry skin and this is not something that I would go out and buy for myself but uh, there was a set of niacinamide serum AHA BHA gel and I think this one and I was anyways going to buy both of the products separately so I thought why not just get the set instead now I have tried it even though I have dry skin I was very skeptical I was like no I don't think this is going to work on my skin type um, I did try it and let me tell you this did not dry out my skin like other matte products do so the consistency is very um, powder like is what I would like to describe the consistency of this as um, and it did not feel heavy my skin did not feel dry when I applied it so I was pleasantly surprised as to how this worked on my dry skin but one thing that I noticed was the next day I did feel like it had clogged my pores I could be wrong I have to try it a few more times but um, my skin was doing very well like my skin was absolutely fine no texture no bumpiness nothing of that sort but the very next day my nose again started to feel bumpy and just textured so I'm guessing that this is the only product that I tried that day and the very next day I saw clogged pores and stuff so I'm guessing that this could have uh, clogged my pores let me know what was your experience if you have tried this sunscreen uh, it has this like extremely smooth soft finish and I think that is because the second uh, ingredient in the list is dimethicone and if you are wondering this has titanium dioxide and I don't think this has zinc I don't see zinc um, yeah, so this definitely has titanium dioxide um, So if you were wondering about that, that's that so I don't know like I'm not so sure if I like it I do like how it feels on the skin. It was not drying for a matte sunscreen on my skin type Which was nice, but would I recommend it? Uh, not yet. I have to try it a couple of more times So that was the first product and I also picked up their niacinamide serum. I mean, I had to. This, I think, is one of their best sellers from their whole range of products. I could be wrong. But this is their 10% niacinamide serum for acne marks. Um, vitamin B3, zinc, uh, day plus night. So basically, you can use it both the times. And I will leave uh, pictures of ingredients list if that is something that you want. Of course. You should want to look at the ingredients list before you pick up anything and this is how uh, the packaging of the product looks like. I'm sure you guys have seen this multiple times. A lot of bloggers have actually endorsed it and you know have been sponsored by this brand. So I really wanted to see how this works out. I have used it um, I would say like two to three times now and this I mean it's too soon. I know it's too soon but it's not my favorite for my skin type. I feel like it, like over the time, my skin definitely tends to get dry when I use this serum instead of um, the Physician's Formula one that I'm also using. Like that is very gentle on the skin. So if you have dry skin and you want to use it, I would definitely suggest to moisturize every like every time you start to feel dry otherwise this can be a little drying on the skin that is something that i've experienced with this particular niacinamide serum so of course i cannot say for sure if this works and how well this works especially on acne masks but i wanted to try it so i got it so that was the second product 
Now the next product that I picked up is their 20% vitamin C serum for skin radiance with ferulic acid and hyaluronic acid and uh, this is how the outer cardboard packaging looks like and then here is the product itself. Now, I did not want to get myself a new vitamin C serum right now because I'm trying niacinamide and then a couple of other things. But what exactly made me buy this is the fact that it comes with ferulic acid. Now, if you don't know, vitamin C serums are great if they have ferulic acid in it because ferulic acid stabilizes the vitamin C serum and it's not going to go bad as quickly and also it's not going to be as irritating on your skin as opposed to if it's if it does not have ferulic acid in it so that's the reason why i picked it up now one thing which was extremely weird about this product was when i received it it wasn't extremely full to the brim which was weird right like if i have received a new product why should it be that way um it looks like i've finished half of it which is definitely not the case when i received it it was still here um, and I've only used it twice so that was weird and also it's not completely white or transparent so I'm like wondering is this already oxidizing now it could be the case considering this is 20% vitamin C serum and the higher you go with the concentration of it the easy it is for the serum to get oxidized so that can be the case but that's okay not a problem as long as i see results from it now i've tried it twice and this is definitely not something i would suggest to someone who is going to try vitamin c serum for the very first time this can be a little too much for your skin it can be a little drying on the skin but the two times that i used it i did find it to be a little too much considering it has 20 percent we can't really complain uh, but yeah that was the next product that i picked up now I have another product which is the Ceramide Plus Hyaluronic Acid um, Moisturizer. So this is how the cardboard packaging of the product looks like. And here you have the product itself. So it comes in this kind of green packaging. I really like how minimalistic the packaging is. Let me quickly show you how the consistency of this looks like. So it's not a very emollient thick cream. It's more on the gel side. And it does get absorbed very quickly and nicely so that is that now it does smell like charmis if you guys have used or if your mom used charmis back in the day then you would know what i'm talking about but um yeah it has fragrance by the way if that is a deal breaker fragrance is the last product or last ingredient in this product now this product in specific has three ceramides so this has um Hold on, this is a little too small. Let me read it from here. So this has ceramide 3, ceramide 6, 2 and ceramide 1. And I was researching about it and it looks like the CeraVe ceramide cream or the moisturizing cream that also has this combination of ceramide. So that is good. But my only concern is the ceramide in the ingredient list is not really up there. Like it's almost like um, last say 9th or 8th ingredient like just looking like that so which is not something i was expecting out of it um it has like a lot of ingredients firstly and the ceramides are not really even in the between which is kind of a bummer so yeah that's that now, next up i have the aha bha gel this is how the outer cardboard packaging looks like and then here we have the product now with this one i was like do i need it like i already have AHA toner from Dot & Key, I have the AHA BHA glow potion but I was like do I need it, should I, should I go for it but then I saw that this is more so for your active acne so I was like okay let's let's just go for it and anyways I was getting it in a bundle of niacinamide serum, sunscreen and this so I was like TK let's get it so I have tried it on my active acne and I have to say that this definitely works a lot quicker than other spot treatment products that I've tried on my skin. Yeah, it is effective, it works and it does take down your acne pretty quickly. So that is that. Of course, I have to try it a few more times before I become a fan of it and then I go like, yes, get this. It's a great acne treatment. So that was the next product that I got. And then last but certainly not the least, I have the... Uh, adapalene and hydrous benzoyl peroxide gel now i know this haul looks like i've picked up everything i've bought niacinamide vitamin c aha bha and then this but trust me i am not using all of these together at all i'm giving my skin the break that it needs and only then um using these slowly and introducing these slowly i'm not using any of these together so don't worry about that but I was anyways buying all of these I was like might as well add this to the cart and 
try it when I get the chance to. I haven't tried it yet, I'm just too skeptical of it. But once I do, I'll tell you guys how this works on my skin. It is supposed to be great for active acne and acne prone skin. So I'm excited to see how this works. If you guys want to know how much concentration of uh, each of these you're getting, Adapalene is 0.1% and then um, Benzoyl Peroxide is 2.5%. So yeah, I think that is a good concentration, especially for a starter. Uh, and an effective concentration of both of these ingredients so yeah that was the last product so that's all i will definitely leave pictures of all of the ingredients uh, and all of the details just in case if you want to buy it and you're looking to match the ingredients on the box versus the ingredient on the website if that can be helpful i'll definitely do that for you guys in this video and that's about it i hope you guys enjoyed this video if you did then please give this video a big thumbs up subscribe to my channel also click on the bell notification right next to it follow me on insta and i'll see you in my next video bye, -bye.